Cause I can't fit the bill Three jobs, two paychecks Damn, the opportunity is great Would be better if I was being paid long and welcome back guys thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate it as always hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and like please 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 but today's topic is going to be about romance particularly my romantic life and some stories and some polls i found online so let us begin okay so according to the gallup polls that they do like poll the gallup polls are basically like the best polls that you can like look up and they have like a bunch of topics and stuff i hope that makes sense i hope you know what the gallup polls are that's basically what i'm saying the gallup polls are very reliable though so i wanted to look up some stuff about love and the first thing i found was let's see that on a typical day 70 percent of the world's population reported that they experienced love the day before now Note that this is not just romantic love, but like any other love that comes like in between. So like your child, um, food, you know, anything that you really just love, like talent, anything that comes with it. So, but that, that, I feel that's good. And then in the US, it was 81%, 81%. So that's not bad. I mean, okay, I don't know who they interviewed. I need to know. So I hope they got a wide range of lifestyles in the US. But if 81% of people report feeling love in one day, like, I don't know. I think I thought love was the cure to, like, self-confidence, like, lack of self-confidence. Because when you just got to love yourself, you know what I'm saying? So, it's weird. That's, that's, maybe, maybe people are lying. I don't know. Maybe people are lying. I don't know. Just, because, okay, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think people are a lot more pessimistic than they let on. But I think it comes in forms of personal doubt and fear and just like basically closet terms so we can just cope with it. But I, I feel like a lot of things were just pessimistic. We just do not believe. So I wanted there was another poll about um, like spouses that cheat on each other. And it said most Americans not willing to forgive the spouse. Basically, 10 percent of people that they interviewed said that they would definitely forgive and 26%, I mean, 23 said they would probably. Now, 38% said they would definitely not forgive, and 26% said that they would probably forgive. Again, I feel like people are lying. I don't know, like, what's the pro There's no way. There's just no... I don't know. Okay, maybe, you know what? All right. Y'all remember that, like, in high school, there was always that couple that shouldn't have been together, but they were together, and it would just cause a lot of toxic BS, and basically, they would just be terrible to each other. So, wouldn't this apply here? Like, w isn't, aren't people more willing to forgive? Isn't that why we remember those tox toxic situations? Or are we just more likely to remember negative circumstances in someone's life? Another question for another day. That's too deep to get into. That's way too deep to get into. Okay, so, dude, I remember freshman year. Was it freshman year? Sophomore year. I'm not going to say any names, but, like, dude, I, I remember getting rejected in the month of September. Because I remember it was a month before my birthday. I was quite sad. I remember texting the girl, and I was like, sup? And she was like, sup? And basically, we get into this. I'm like, it was just terribly negotiated on both ends, especially my end, and and it just ended poorly. And it ended with a like I explained my feelings in a weird, nonchalant way, and I didn't get no response back. That makes sense. I don't know, but yeah, that was that was sophomore year. Dude, that was only three years ago. Like, we're not talking about a long time or anything. Like, this is a problem. Like, this is a problem. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, <laughs> so, all right. So, moving on to satisfaction. So, all right. Am I satisfied in my personal life? I would tell you I am unsatisfied with my religion. Romance is just, it's just hit and miss. You're just hitting and missing this. I mean, you can't really. So, I guess... If you're single, aren't you automatically unsatisfied? Right? No? I don't know. Whatever. Personal growth. I'm very satisfied with my personal growth. I, I, I try on that. Family. I'm very satisfied with my family life. Friends. I would say I'm satisfied. Because 
I'm a bit of a loner, so I don't do a lot of the, t like, friendship goes both ways. So, like, I, I lack sometimes in going the one way. Where you live, I'm definitely satisfied where I live. I like the location. Money, nah, I'm broke. This just terrible. Like, bank accounts just, I'm waiting on that Trump money. St stimulus money, I'm waiting. Fun and recreation. I could, I could do a little bit more partying. I admit, like, I could get out more. I probably need that, so more parties to me okay so it seems like 62 percent of people say they are satisfied highly satisfied with their family life 47 percent friend life and 40 percent health wise again i think people are lying like this is okay this is from 2003 so maybe yeah that's just way too long to actually find it totally credible but I mean, people, how much do people really change? But I guess you could make a case that the U.S. is getting less, like, religious. So maybe the religion. Because 46% say they are satisfied with their religious life. But I don't even remember 46% of people being religious in high school. Like, it was just... Including me, including me. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm just human. But, um, I don't know. 26% with their personal growth. Again, pessimistic, Pessim very pessimistic. They, how, how would, you're dissatisfied with your personal growth. How is 26% of people highly satisfied with their personal growth? Only 26%? That means people really don't look at themselves in a good light. That's just kind of sad to think about. And then 14% say they're highly satisfied with money. Yeah, very true. I think I remember someone told me that the top 1% in America, income wise, is just 400,000. Which, just 400,000. I, I have, I don't have 400 bucks, but that's the point. Like, 400,000 not that much though, in reality. Like, if you just look, I mean, there's a bunch of billionaires now. And with this e-commerce, I gotta get into e-commerce. Y'all heard about that yet? I don't know. Is that me? I don't know. But, um, what is this one? Romance to break out nationwide this weekend. Ooh. All right, so 72%. Okay, so this was taken in New Jersey, and this is 2004. Man, these polls are old. Like, this is just... I cannot highly place all of these standards upon today's people now. Now I just got to use it, like, as a reference. So 72% of people in 2003 reported being in love. That is amazing. 83% of people 30 to 49 and 78% of people 50 to 64. I guess the older you get, even if you don't get that person, I guess you figure it out who you like would love to be with. I guess so, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, by then you would know who your like celebrity and non-celebrity crush is. So, oh my God, they broke it down by Democrat. So 75% of Republicans were in love. But 69% of Democrats were in love. Interesting. I guess, what can we take from that? And then, oh, so 2% of married people were not in love. Mm-mm-mm. Can't be that guy. Can't. Uh-uh. Not for me. Not for you. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. So my last story, before I wrap this episode up. Let's see. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I should tell something good. But like, hmm. Okay, I can tell you one that's pretty recent. Dude, so like a few weeks ago, actually like three months ago, I asked out this girl, but I, t I did it through text. So again, yeah, some of you would refer to me as a female, you know, dog, but I refrain from using such critical language. But, um, <laughs> ah, so, all right, so basically I just texted her like, hey, do you want to go out? And like, dude, I got left on red. Like that was just embar that was just an embarrassing moment. Like, that was just just someone asks you out, just text them back. Just be like, I'm busy. You know? <laughs> right? <laughs> no, that was really embarrassing. For a few days. I I got over it pretty quick. I mean, what can you do? Like it's just what um what's that old saying? God, I don't know. This is 
Oh, every time you break up with somebody, you're closer to finding the right one after that. So I guess I could just live out by, by that philosophy. But so to wrap up this video, though, looks like most Americans are in love. So looks like I need to get my life together. So, yeah, we figured this out together. We just did a, a personal intervention on my romantic life. And I hope that was entertaining for you. So, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and like. I always appreciate y'all listening and watching. Thank you so much. Remember, Dreamer Podcast. And you can find my Instagram at Mo Tintawi. Thank you, guys. I got enough talent to light up Chicago. Huh. I might move tomorrow. Pack bags.